All right, uh, making multiple box plots in uh, GeoGebra is fairly simple to do. Um, here's the final product. Here you can see several box plots that I've already created, but let's see what we did on that. Okay, so the main thing you need to know is uh, the box plot here, um, you have the location on the y-axis first, the thickness second, and then your data third. So if you pull up GeoGebra here, you go into view and spreadsheet view, and then pull that over, and I already have some data. So I will paste that in, hopefully. Yep, there it is. So there's my data. And uh, just real quickly, I'll just show you how to do one or two. And we'll just do the Lori data there. So to start with, you go box plot, and it already fills it in. And maybe we want that um, on the y axis at, let's put it on six. We want it two units thick. And the data goes from A2 to A11, and you hit enter, and there it is. So you can kind of see there's a box plot of the data that's actually four wide. Two gives you the thickness of each half, but it is centered on six, and you can zoom out, zoom in to make it fit and you can just keep going so maybe we want the second set of data so you do box plot uh, maybe we want that one centered on two and two thick and it's B2 2 B 11 and there it is and you notice they're right beside each other so you can compare the medians and the inner quartiles and and your extremes and all that fun stuff and you can even put them in the negatives if you want to so you can go box plot and maybe we want one at negative two and we want it too thick or maybe we want this one three thick so box plot just to kind of show you you play around with it box plot uh, negative two let's put it at negative four we'll make it three thick and we'll go C2 to C11 hit enter and there it is and so I'm I'm doing each column of my data and you can see my different data that I collected in the class a while ago and when you're done, then if you wanted to, you can go in there and click on each of these and say you wanted to color them. So you go to the move icon and double click on it and you can change the color. Maybe we want that one red. Maybe we want the next one purple. And the third one, notice I'm clicking here on C. Maybe we want C to be blue. We'll close that and take a look at them. So there we go, red, purple, and blue. And again, here's the data after I've done them all and kind of scaled it. These are each one thick. Um, and I just went through and put all the data in. It's the same data and played around with it a little bit. So play around with the bot box plot feature. It's about the, about the only time, reason you should make box plots, I think, is if you're comparing several. I mean, yeah, it's good to see where your data is located, but uh, the real tell is in when you're comparing multiple sets of data to maybe find where the median lies for lots of different sets of data. And thank you very much. See you later.